Okay, so just pull that back, pull that out. Now give her a good pull. Just like that, she's down and out. Now, so I think that's about all you guys will need for this video. And here I am leaking oil, I'll get it cleaned up. So if you uh, need to see how to do the rest of it, I'm gonna show you. If not, I hope this video helped you out and I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please click like, please click subscribe. And uh, you can visit me at backyardmechanics.org. So enjoy, thank you. So for all you guys that are sticking around waiting to see how that seal is done, Oh, by the way, if you're still watching about the CV joint, you can just do everything in reverse. Make sure that when you put the CV joint in, you heal that pop, pop, you get that second pop, and then just put it back in in reverse. Now, uh, the ball joint is gonna actually sit lower, um, so you're gonna wanna put the, ball, the bottle jack back under it and jack it back into that pin and slide your bolt and nut. But other than that, okay, you're good there. So let's get to this uh, seal real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up that a mess I just made, and uh, it's still making. And we're gonna do a tranny filter change on this thing too. So if you need that, check in the link if you need it. I'll put it in the description below. So let's get that cleaned up, crawl under there, and let's check out this seal. Okay guys, so what you're looking at here now is the axle where the CV joint goes right into the side of the transmission. That's where all the fluid was pouring out that we had to clean up. Uh, I thought it would be okay because I actually put the vehicle on an angle and uh, this side was higher. So that's a joke by the way, this is on the bottom of the transmission. So all I'm going to do now is just stick a picky tool in there and I'm just going to pry back and pop that seal out um, so that you get a better idea because I'm going to need two hands to do this. Let me show you the seal. Here's the new seal. If you can see uh, that little spring seal right there, that's going to go towards the transmission. This side is the outside that goes towards the axle. So I'm just gonna pop that one out. This one will reseal. I'll lube the outside of this with some of that old fluid and uh, just pop it right down inside there. One more thing. The CV joint on the passenger side, if you need the part number, it's right there. It's an MI8166. That's the passenger side. That's the one I've already changed. The one that I'm about to change, which is the driver's side, if you need that one, that's gonna be an MI8168. So that way you have those part numbers if you need to call them in. Alrighty, so two hands now. I'm gonna use two picky tools. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pry one like this, and I'm gonna pry one like this. And when I push down on both of those picky tools, small screwdriver, whatever you have, it will bring the seal out. So I think you get the concept there. If not, you can just get up underneath it and just pry real hard, but just get her out of there, lube up the outside of the new one, and stick her down inside. All right, let me get through that. Okay, so here's our old one and that piece came right out easily. Um, and you can see there where it got nicked too, probably when the axle went in. It's just a wonder it lasted as long as it did. And sometimes they just go bad when they dry out and it'll pinch their cells. So um, that mark there, I actually did pulling it out. So uh, now I'll just go ahead and take a little bit of that old fluid, like I said, and I'll run it around there and stick it in there. Now, if I can't get it to go straight in smoothly, I'll use my extension and I'll just go around the outside and I'll just tap, 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 tap. And make sure it's in flat and it's straight before you uh, stop on it. So, all right, let's go ahead and set that down inside there and tap her around and get her seated nice, nice and even. Okay, there's the new one. Now you can see all that fluid that's been flinging around in here. So we really needed that in there. So there's the new one, it's in there. Now we can put the CV joint back in. Um, I spoke about it earlier and, oh, let me get that cleared up. Okay, so I spoke about it earlier, so we're gonna stick the axle in this direction, uh, put the, that side on the transmission in first, and remember it's gonna go pop, pop. Get it all the way in there, and then we can rotate this back, stick the other end of the axle in here, fold it backwards, and we'll work our way backwards. Um, if you need to see it, I'll continue recording. If you don't, again, enjoy. Thank you guys very much. Here we go. Okay, so there we are. She popped in twice, so now I can remove the nut. And I always like to leave that little collar on there. I don't want to be bumping the, the threads up against anything while I'm working. So uh, now we can take it off and pull that off. That's just to protect the gears. Okay, so now I'm just going to bend her around here and pop her back in that axle. I'll have to use two hands to pry that up. Okay, she slid right in there. Now you can see my knuckle here is not quite lined up. I think you can see right there. But this lower control arm at this point you can actually flex it a little bit, it moves. So just kind of maneuver it around. If you can't get it in, get it lined up kind of straight, put your jack back up underneath it, hold your rotor straight and just jack it right up into it. 
and then place your 17 back in there. So let me get that on. All right, so we run the 17 in there. Let's run the nut all the way down, tight as you can get her. This is not like an axle trailer, or I'm sorry, an axle to a trailer where you gotta tighten her down and back it off. This one, you're gonna run it in hard. And then you're gonna take it back out because you forgot to put the washer in it. <laughs> Just notice, because you can see the distance on my, my uh, hole here, it's, the keeper's not even gonna do any good with this nut. So, let's find the washer. There it is, and let's put that on there. Okay, now she looks better. You see the holes in there where it's gonna work. So now you can throw your keeper in there and lock her down. Now, if you tighten this all the way down, and the keeper is back or forward past the hole, you can back it up a here, hair, but just try to go down as tight as you can and then put it on because again, this is not like a trailer axle, so you'll be good. Um, if not, back it up just one notch and that's it. So, all right, let me find my cotter key and let's stick her in there. All right, so there we go. We got her back on, everything's good to go. She's ready for a tire. I know you know how to throw the tire on there. So, uh, excellent job. We did it without busting loose the caliper, having to re-bleed the brakes or anything. And, uh, oh, she's gonna have a problem steering. So let's get that nut on there too, right? So, uh, all right, let me go ahead and tighten that down and then we'll be good to go. Um, that again, also, that uh, steering knuckle, you can go ahead and tighten that down as tight as she gets. So there's no uh, minimum. I mean, if you're doing five, 600 pounds, you might have a problem and break things, but you get it. Snug her down tight. So uh, I hope this video helped you out. Please look, click like, please click subscribe. Uh, visit me at backyardmechanic.org. And uh, we're gonna do a couple other things to this vehicle. One is the transmission fluid change, and uh, I can't remember what else, but I'll put some links down in the bottom if you have this vehicle and you wanna know how to do these things. So thanks again for watching, you guys. Enjoy.